Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel after so, so, so long. Sorry for being so inactive, but I'm here to give a very quick, like a super quick tutorial on how to make a pleated skirt. So we're going to start with a rectangle tool to make a belt. I'm going to click here leave the click so the round waist is 24 so i'll keep the belt width 24 i don't want it to be any wider than an inch so one inch and 24 okay so we have the belt we're going to turn on the arrangement points tool use shift plus f for this click on the belt and then click on the arrangement point I'm going to add the side seams to stitch the ends of the belt together around the waist. So click and click. Looks good to go. And I'll press space bar. All right. And I'm going to freeze all these things right here. Control A. and control k so everything is freezed rectangle tool again this time this is going to be for the skirt so i'll just click and i'll leave the click the width i'm going to keep it equal to the belt width because we are supposed to stitch it at the belt and the height so i want my skirt to be 18 inches long okay so 15 So here I've taken the width of this rectangle exactly equal to the waist. Click, click on the side seams, click on the top of the belt and on the rectangle. Arrange it using the arrangement points tool and space bar. Don't worry if it's too tight, it is going to be too tight because uh, the hip is supposed to be wider and not 24 inches, but it's okay because we are now going to add pleats, which will make things fall in place. So once done, all you need to do is you're going to go to this tool that you see right here in the tool pattern window. It says pleats. So you're going to click here, click here, like at the top edge of your skirt and then click on the bottom edge then click on the right side so basically it's going to add pleats to here to this right side and you can add the pleat depth so i want my pleats to be an inch and i can select the number of pleats yeah you can also select if you want knife pleats or box pleats or accordion pleats accordingly I guess we can make good 24 pleats. Yeah. And okay. So yeah, this is going to be kind of extended. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to reset it to 3D. Or let's reset it to 2D for now. And I'll just fold it a bit using the fold arrangement tool right here. So I'll fold it, like I click here. I fold it around the avatar. So this will make your simulation easier. Click here and click and drag. To fold it around the avatar and then press spacebar. And yeah, that's how quick and easy it was and of course you can strengthen the, or you can simply change the particle distance from the property editor i bring the particle distance to six and then space bar again choose any fabric type and color and you'll be good to go. Yep. 
Remember, reducing the particle distance is going to make your simulation way too slower, which is quite normal. And I always suggest reducing the particle distance in the end. Like you've, you've draped the entire garment, you're okay with the fits. And just for finishing and the fall to be more fabrication and better, you're supposed to reduce the particle distance and simulate it for one last time. Yeah, so that's all about today's tutorial. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.